Okay, hello everybody. Now we're going to um, set up this computer for remote flashing. So you can see here in the middle of the screen that we've downloaded the software package at the link that was included in your email. So we've already done that here. Now we've downloaded it to this specific computer which does not have WinZip on purpose because we know that a lot of you won't have WinZip installed on your computer either. Uh, WinZip is a file that allows you to unpack zipped folders. And the reason we zip a folder is to make it more compact so that it takes less time to download from the internet. Although I know that this is a large folder. And even though it's zipped, it took a long time anyhow. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go get WinZip. So we'll go to Internet Explorer. There's many tools you can use to unzip packages. If you're more comfortable with another tool, you can use it. We like WinZip because it's free and relatively inexpensive. I take that back. It's free and relatively easy to use. So we can just go to the official site. All right, when you get to their site, you can go right to download and then WinZip 16. And that will take you into the download page. And even though they want you to pay for it, you can download the free copy. Your email here is optional. Obviously, most people are going to skip it. Just click on download WinZip. Save. We'll put it right on the desktop. Okay, so now that we're downloaded, we just go ahead and we run it. Click on Setup. We don't want to include any of this stuff. Just click next through all this stuff. I'm going to change that, but you don't have to. Now, you probably notice I'm using a different WinZip version here. It's because that download was going to take forever. Where I'm at, the internet's terrible. So I'm using an old version that I had. The install process is the same. And we're done. No, we don't want to go out there. Now you'll see that our software has a little different icon. And that means that it's a, that's the zip folder icon. Now you can right click on this little guy and go to WinZip. You'll see that now in your little box and we'll go to extract to folder with this long name because that's going to extract it right here to the desktop no we don't want to register we'll use the evaluation thank you and now we can delete this And we can open up the software. Okay, so now we're just going to start. We're going to follow our directions. Now, the very first thing the instructions tell us is to turn our virus protection off. Now, on this computer, I don't have any virus protection. As a matter of fact, I don't have virus protection on any of my computers because it takes up way too much too many system resources on my PC and I typically don't visit sites where I would get viruses anyway. If it's not turned off on your computer you need to figure out how to get it turned off and you can use Google as your friend if you need help. The next thing is we're going to install Q QPST so we'll go ahead and we'll click on that folder and you'll see here you have step one and step two. Step one basically installs the binaries that we need, so we're going to go ahead and click that, and we'll let it install. Most of the time, 
This is going to kick back an error at the end. That's fine. Okay, so here's the error I was talking about. We'll just close out of that and go to step two and run it. Now every once in a while you'll get some errors here. If you do, it'll it'll give you the option to just continue. Just click the continue. Okay, we've been installed. Now we'll back out of there. Next thing we want to do now is to install QXDM. So we'll click on there and we see the setup run this. We'll go ahead and run it. And now that installation is complete, so we'll close out of there. And the next thing we want to do is we want to install HTSync, which is right here, so we'll double click on that. Notice it says before installing, disable your virus protection. And this takes a while to install, as you'll see. Okay, so that's installed. So we click on Finish. Now we need to go to the Control Panel. And we'll go to uh, Programs and Features and we're going to look for HT Sync right there and we're going to uninstall it. Now you might say why in the world are we uninstalling it? We just installed it. Well you see the HTC drivers right above it? Those were installed when we installed HT Sync. That's what we want. We do not want HT Sync. It'll interfere with the flashing process. So we'll just un you know, uninstall that. Okay, so now we're uninstalled. We just have the HTC drivers there. 